Mars. Our neighbor planet has been the subject of many discussions for a while now. In this video, you'll get to know all the details about Mars gathered so far. So hang on tight as you take a tour through the fourth planet in our solar system. NASA's Preservance rover recently landed on Mars to join NASA's Curiosity rover, which has been on the red planet for years now. With these, NASA has been able to identify a lot of specifications about the red planet and has even carried out the first demonstration of powered flight on Mars. The Preservance rover has been doing as much geology as it can, taking pictures of the Martian surface and analyzing nearby rocks. The rocks have been revealed to be shaped by wind and water, but still there are no signs of past life. Further research on these rocks have shown that they're chemically similar to volcanic rocks on Earth. From the landing site at Jezero Crater, the Preservance rover has been busy on the Martian soil, and while it has not fully begun its main science experiments, there is much to hope for it in the upcoming months. We know that Jezero is the perfect location for such work, and have discovered that 48 kilometer wide crater had a big lake in River Delta years ago. The rover discovered light colored rocks slightly out from dark soil, and with a laser based instrument, it determined that these rocks are chemically similar to basalt rocks made from molten rock on Earth. The team of scientists named these rocks. Mars, meaning Mars, and Yigo, an alternative spelling for diligent. Further tests have also revealed that Yigo has signs of water locked up in its mineral composition. With a laser-based instrument, the preservant zaps at rocks with the laser, which vaporizes little portions and goes on to study their chemical components. Preservance and Ingenuity landed on Mars almost exactly nine months ago. Over that time, both vehicles have already expanded our understanding of Mars, which will only increase over time as both vehicles will continue to conduct further experiments in the months and years to come. Preservance is a rover based on Curiosity's general design, but with its own unique capabilities and some features. Curiosity lack. Ingenuity is the small helicopter that became the first human-built vehicle to fly on another world in the spring of 2021. Together, they do science. We've rounded up the major discoveries made by both the rover and its computer buddy, as well as the technologies deployed on each. Water, soil, and the search for ancient life. The principal mission of Perseverance and Ingenuity is to search for signs of ancient microbial life on Mars. In service to that goal, the Perseverance rover is loaded with imaging hardware, with which it can capture EM emissions from radio to hard UV. With these instruments, the rover is equipped to make on-the-spot judgments about what's in the Martian regolith, rocks, and atmosphere. One such piece of imaging tech aboard Perseverance is the scanning habitable environments with Raman and Luminescence for Organics and Chemicals Sherlock Instrument. Sherlock is a bore-sided resonance Raman and fluorescence spectrometer. To break that down a bit, it uses a UV laser to ping tiny bits of grit with photons of controlled wavelength. So we can analyze the photons thrown back of the sample to record their wavelength, polarization, and other metadata. Sherlock sidekick and second eye Watson zooms out where Sherlock zooms in. Watson is a wide-angle camera used to document the spectrometer samples on the macro scale, just like a terrestrial photographer would try to get a good macros of a subject with a DSLR. Another instrument is the ground-penetrating radar imager for Mars's subsurface experiment known as RIMFAX. Radar waves are sensitive to dielectric properties of the materials they survey, much like X-rays are sensitive to the absorptive properties of the materials they move through. RIMFAX will peer below the surface as far as 10 meters down into the regolith. Ultimately, this differential response allows us to make a 3D radar model of the subsurface stratigraphy of Mars. With a resolution or voxel size of 10 centimeters, RIMFAX is there to characterize what lies below the landing site, but also to look for water ice hidden below the Martian surface where it might not have been sublimated away.